prior to having this corporation Hot Studio, I had a partnership for four years. But my experience was challenging because I had a partnership where my partner was equal in my skill set. And when you have a partnership of two, who breaks the tie? And so what I found in a partnership that it can it could actually get in the way of progress. Especially when you're partnered with somebody with exact same skill sets. And therefore, when the partnership ended, I vowed that I would never be in a partnership again for that reason. That said, I have many um, colleagues who are in partnerships, and I think the best way a partnership can work is if they, the partners are very, very clear on the skill sets that they do and that they take ownership. But at the end of the day, there still has to be one person who is the decision maker. And that's really more to make sure that the business, there's progress in the business. And so uh, when people come to me for advice, especially when they're, joint, when they're thinking about partnerships, I give them that kind of advice. Hot Studio Incorporated in 1999. Hot Studio was founded in 1997. So I started out as a sole proprietor because it was just me. And I have two great advisors that I, I treasure to this day, my accountant and my lawyer. And my accountant, who used to do my personal taxes, looked at what I, uh, I was making every year and said, Maria, you have outgrown me. You need to incorporate and you need to go to this accountant. So I went to the accountant that he recommended and the accountant said, yes, based on the amount of money that you're bringing in, you need to incorporate to protect not only from a tax benefit, but also for a liability benefit. So that's why I incorporated. I just took the advice of my, of my accountant. And to this day, I, they're my trusted advisors. So the employee stock option plan was one of our tools uh, for aligning uh, everybody's incentives uh, as employees, as we are a service business, uh, with uh, our net results and uh, our, our overall goals for the company. For people who are thinking about an ESOP plan is one, why are you doing it? Two, are you clear on your goals? And then three, do you have uh, folks outside of the business uh, to make sure that uh, you've covered all of your bases since this is something that's gonna have uh, a long-term life. What we did was consulted with a number of our ongoing advisors, but uh, what they did was really provide a balanced external point of view around the goals of the plan. Then the next step after we did that was actually write the plan which uh, was done within the legal framework which our attorney helped us with. Uh, once we completed that, then the last step was really then a step of uh, finalization, everybody looking at it, and then rolling it out to employees. I was delighted to be offered stock options so that if uh, the company does go public or is sold, we stand to benefit. No one expected it. It's not really being done right now in our industry, but um, it's typical of the culture at Hot Studio.